That's what these people in Ephesus were doing. They were doing, 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 and they forgot to have that relationship with God. They forgot to have that alone time with God. They forgot to be in the Word. They forgot to be in prayer and in praise. And instead, they began, and they, they didn't even know it. When you start doing stuff for God, you think, man, that, that's, that's what it's all about. i got to just do stuff for Jesus. Bring it. And you begin to, to uh, justify in your mind why you're not spending time with God and why you're not in your Word and why you're not leaning in praise and prayer upon the Lord. Because the work of God is, is the place where you get your satisfaction. The work of God is where you feel God saying, that's good, I love you, I approve of you. But Jesus is saying here, He's saying, that's not what I, that's not first on your list. What should be first on your list is to love me. Remember? Amen. Remember? The word remember or to, to return literally means to go back or come back again. To go back in thought, to go back in practice, and to go back in condition. To restore to a former or normal state. Say normal state. Normal state. So you have to get that in your heart. You have to get that in your mind. What you did when you first got saved, that's normal. That joy that you felt in your heart when you first knew the Lord, that's normal. When, when Jesus just came out of your heart and you just began to tell people about Christ, that's normal. To long for the Word and to, to eat the Word and to be in His presence, that is normal. Wow. So if you're not normal, yeah. then what are you? What, what am I? Go like this. <laughs> I've been in the ministry for 10 years. Okay, I preach the Word. You know, but God said, that's good, son, but you need to spend time with me. Yeah. Yeah. Just with me. Yeah. Not trying to get a message. Huh? Not trying to do uh, work on the church and build the church. Huh? Not trying to teach Sunday school and tell other people about Jesus. Because the presence of God will change people's hearts. The presence of God will change people's lives. Amen. Peter's shadow. He didn't say a word. He just walked down the road and his shadow touched and healed and delivered people. Amen? Yeah. See, when you have a relationship with Christ that is vibrant... People can sense it around. They, they might not know because they're, they're, they're dead to the things of God. They can't see the kingdom. But they can feel or sense there's something different about you. Yeah. See, when we're walking with God and we're doing the things and spending time with God, we become more like Him. Yeah. The Bible declares that we should do what? We should behold Him as in a mirror. The glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, that we would be changed from glory to glory as by the Spirit of God. Yeah. See, Paul said it this way in Galatians. He said, have you begun this work in the Spirit? Are you now going to finish it in the flesh? 